Congratulations to uh, Colorado State football. What a team. Uh, very well coached football team, first and foremost. Uh, John does a great job. We knew that coming in here. But, uh, they are a well, well coached football team. Uh, they don't beat themselves. And proved, uh, that was proven today. Uh, very hard physical football game. Uh, lost a bunch of guys there in the battle. But uh, uh, my hat's off to them. And, uh, you know, we get beat by a better football team today. There's no doubt about that one. Coach, you talked earlier this week, turnovers were the key. And you had they, opportunity, and then all of a sudden, you had a couple of them quick. Yeah. It, uh, you know, that the one where, you know, we bobbled the pass, I guess. I didn't see it. I was making correction on the sideline. But, uh, and then they, uh, you know, intercepted it. That, that's a key in any football game where it's a tight football game. Uh, you know, it's still, what, 7-7 seven, seven time. And, uh, you know, you, uh, you can't turn it over, and on the other side, uh, hats off to them for creating turnover. They, they fumble at the one, they missed two field goals. Do you feel like they gave you chance after chance <laughs> after chance? Well, we, we battled real hard, uh, and uh, we were surviving the first half, uh, basically. Uh, again, they, uh, you know, they were pretty dominant on the offensive line today. Uh, did a great job blocking their backs, ran well. And, uh, they did a good job with play calling and keeping them mixing it up with uh, play action passes on us. And, uh, you know, things we practice against, but, uh, you know, until it's live bullets, uh, you really don't get a great feel for it. But uh, they had a good plan, we stuck to it, and, uh, you know, they did a good job of mixing it up. But, um, you know, and credit to our kids is that uh, we hung in there. You know, we didn't quit. And we keep bat kept battling, 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 and holding them to the field goal tries. And, you know, stopping them on fourth and one, and, you know, got a break when the quarterback got his helmet knocked off there or whatever, and you know, the other kid came in. That's what happened. So, so. anyways. Max and Mark, could you both talk about just hanging in there and hanging in there and hanging in there and then just not being able to finish? Yeah, like Coach said, Boy Bully, uh, they just came and played a great game today. And uh, I really felt on the sideline that everyone was still in the game. Uh, even though we went down, uh, everyone on the sideline was still had their heads up, and we still we still believed that we had a chance, and uh, we just didn't capitalize on the mistakes that Pueblo made today, and that cost the game. Uh, yeah, like like they previously said, uh, they just did a great job dictating the tempo, and uh, you know we made too many mistakes, and uh, we didn't come through when it counted, and uh, defensively and offensively, so that's what happened. Coach Bob, can you compare what they did to Midwestern State at all? Now seeing it, different team, uh, totally different team, totally. Uh, team that can throw it as well as run. Uh, you know, Midwestern State. Uh, uh, you know, hats off to them the year they had. But they were a one-dimensional team, and uh, you know, when they lost their quarterback, it makes a big difference. So, uh, but uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, two different teams, I think. I think it'd be unfair to compare them. Both very physical football team. Uh, game. We lost a bunch of kids today. <laughs> so I think we're down to our third center. And, uh, you know, uh, they weren't hurt coming in. So. Mark, one, the physicality of CSU Public, can you just talk about how, where they rank as a team that you played this, this year as a team that's going to be in physical? Uh, as far as being physical, I mean, uh, I personally didn't see a lot of being physical only because they played so far back with their DBs, but they're, uh, like we said earlier, they're a good team. They're uh, very big, and uh, you know, with people going down, their size and their uh, their weight basically took over the game for them and helped them push the ball. And on the defensive side, uh, they made a lot of great stops today. So, yeah. I actually get tired in that first. I mean, it was a 21 minute advantage to a nine. You were on the Field yeah. a lot. Yeah, we were on the field uh, a lot, and um, you could just tell, uh, you know, as like Marquand said, they were they were a physical team, and they didn't they never let up. And uh, you know, hats off to them because they they kept going. They were consistent with their attack, and and that's exactly that's exactly why they had the ball most of the game. So. Your season's over. Your two careers are over. I mean, could you reflect on? what the season meant? 
Um, yeah, I can say that uh, this season in particular was another stepping stone uh, in terms of uh, UND football. And, uh, you know, we've progressed every single year. And this is just another uh, stepping stone to, you know, what we want to keep achieving uh, as a team in the future. So. Yeah, uh, it was a great season. You uh, took a run at it, something that's never been done in UND history. And uh, as of now, as a leader of the team, I think the uh, most important thing is to make sure our guys rally on this and continue to work hard and just let them know that this isn't a setback for the future and that they can uh, get here again next year and win. Take one more question, guys. Okay. Good. Thank you.